here we go. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're even like vaguely interested in video games, um, I feel like you've probably heard of this by now, right? You've probably heard of Undertale. <clears throat> uh, maybe you played it when it came out. It was uh, spreading like wildfire. Maybe you're only aware of it because of how no one could shut up about it. Uh, but either way, I feel like over the years, this, God, this game came out in 2015. Uh, over the years, you know, memes came out of it out of the game. And I feel like those memes have kind of, like, have been decontextualized. And I feel as if um, a lot of what makes the game so charming in the first place uh, has gotten lost as a result of that. Uh, and I've also seen, this is just my personal experience, but I've also seen that basically there are two ways to play the game. Uh, at least by and large, it, I feel like uh, people treat the game as if there are two ways to play it. Uh, and honestly, that's not why I came to love the game in the first place. Uh, and in fact, I think that if you stick to one of those two ways, uh, you miss out on what I think makes the game uh, so great. So what I'm planning to do here is I'm going to pretend to play this game as if it were just your average RPG. Because the two ways that uh, playthroughs typically fall under do not handle it like a uh, like a regular RPG. So, here we are on a perfectly fresh save file. This is our, this is our title screen. You can double check the settings, language, button configuration. Uh, I am playing on the Switch version, uh, just because. It's a little more convenient for me. I think. Uh, so we're going to turn on the borders to dynamic just just for fun. Yeah, there's your, there are the rules. When your HP hits zero, you lose. So let's begin, shall we? Um, get six letters to name the fallen human. So I'm I'm just gonna go with oh, that is not my name. Try this. Yeah, that looks right. I trust there are no objections. The game starts just like that. Apparently, you fell down into a flower bed. There's only one way to go. Look, it's Flowey, the flower. Uh, I'm probably not going to read all the text out loud.
All right. So let's let's learn how things work in the underground. Flowey seems nice and friendly enough. All right. So the heart is our soul. And we can move it around. Starts off weak, but it can grow strong if we gain a lot of LV. LV stands for love. It makes sense. The more love you have, the bigger your heart, right? Alright, so how do we get some love? Little white friendliness pellets. All right, then let's get him. Oh. Oh my. I can't believe I got bamboozled. That's all right. We got some help. The meat tutorial. So something you may have already noticed is that uh, whenever you're on a battle screen, uh, I mean, you've got your soul, obviously, but uh, whoever you're facing is always in black and white. Uh, let's see. Shadow of the Runes looms above, filling you with, de with determination. Alright, we'll save. Full of puzzles, huh? I like that ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. So just for fun, let's look at this puzzle that uh, Toriel did without uh, without telling us or explaining it to us. So only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk knots the middle road. You can't really actually do it yourself. But uh, if the idea was, you know, just hit the stepping stones on the side and flip the switch. But it's solved already. No need to fix it. Alright. Press A to read signs. Cool. Stay on the path. Yes, yeah, so we're getting a lot of uh, <laughs> guides. This. And can't even try to press the wrong switch. might even say this is some kind of uh, tutorial. Okay, so we gotta... We gotta pretend to get into a fight with the training dummy. Oh, uh, let's see. So we do have options here. Uh, fight is, you know, attack. Act is not an attack, but an action you can do. Uh, 
I've got items, but I don't have any items, so that doesn't actually do anything. And mercy. You can either spare or flee. But, uh, you know, tutor uh, <laughs> tutorial. Tutorial is watching. First, let's check the dummy. How cute. Dummy doesn't do anything because it's a dummy. Alright, let's try talking to the dummy. Surprisingly, it does not talk back, but Toriel is happy. Oh no. A frogget has attacked me. Well, Toriel did say, you know, stall for time and she'll come and resolve the conflict. Life is difficult for this enemy. Alright, she sure resolved that conflict. Uh, what's the sign here? The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Alright. So yeah, you don't even have to solve this one on your own. But uh, you might have noticed a pattern on the floor on the left-hand side of the room. Uh, that was... That draws the path that you take through here. And then Toriel's like, mm, you know what? I'm going to literally hold your hand through this one. Oh no. Got to make it all the way to the end of the room. So much tension from all this music. Well, there is actually nothing here. Getting a cell phone out of this. Alright, so now we can open the menu. Still no items. Stats. Look at that. Uh, I've got no attack, no defense, no experience. And I'm armed with a stick and a bandage, and also no money. Let's call Toriel and say hello. That's nice. We can also do other things. If I'm going to call her mom and or flirt with her. But, uh, you know, what if we don't just wait around? Alright, so she thinks we can't handle the puzzles here. We can talk to the frog, though.
All right, so that's the thing you can do. All right, so let's take one. Take a piece of candy? Sure. Now we've got an item. Got monster candy. Look at what it does. Feels 10 HP. It's a distinct non-licorice flavor. Oh, well, might as well load up on it, right? Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh no. I'm being too greedy, and I just can't stop myself. Oh well. We got four pieces of monster candy out of it, which is probably way more than I'm gonna need, but oh well. Save again. Oh no. It's a random encounter. Alright. Well, let's take a look at how fighting actually works. It's just the timing, really. And uh, I did it. Cool. Two, two EXP, two gold. Lovely. That was rude. Just fell through a hole in the floor. Crumbly floor. Alright, another whims in? Well, that's easy enough. The closer you get to the middle, the uh, stronger your attack. Hmm, cinnamon or butterscotch? Or biscotch, if you prefer. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna go with cinnamon. suppose I don't dislike butterscotch. Uh, I probably would not. Alright, three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Alright, well, let's push that rock. Hey, look, the spike ball dropped. Frog it. You know, you see, we're fighting because Toriel's not here to resolve our conflict. We're gonna have to do it ourselves. Uh, enemy attacks are not just bullet patterns like Flowey showed us. Uh, let's see if I remember this. I did not. Let's see what the sign says. Please don't step on the leaves. Alright, so the idea is all the areas where leaves are uh, on the upper level are areas where the floor will crumble. Get it? Mold small. Alright. Oh no, it did a sexy wiggle. No, it's making slime sounds. No, it started to spoil. Hey, my love increased. We got more HP and everything. So I think it's more like this. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Uh oh. Frogget doesn't know why it's here. Well then, get out of here. Damn. Did it again. That one's on me. And so is that one. Right. Fine. It's fair. 
I actually didn't mean to mess up that many times. Uh, old Smalls blocking the way. Wow. Get out of here. Scorch. Oops. down, hug the wall, there, finally through the room. Alright, uh, hey, look, more spikes on the floor. Froggit and Winsome drew near. Alright, well, let's start with Froggit. And when enemies team up like that, uh, their attacks will combine, and, uh, have fun dealing with that. By wins and spikes. Push these rocks. Obviously, we've got to push the rocks on the switches, right? Uh, no, this is not. Uh, so the rule, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to play. I'm trying to pretend like I don't know that this is not a typical RPG. So, you'll see. All right. Who said we could push the rock around? Remember, only three out of four gray rocks. Recommend that you push them. This is the fourth rock that does not recommend it. Well, that's still not where I want to go, or where I want the rock to go. Okay, cool. I figured it out. The spikes are down, and... Hey, wait a second. Buddy, please. There you go. You got it. <laughs> that's how you get the rock to stand there. Uh... Mouse hole. Makes a little squeak. Piece of cheese on the table. Oh no, it's stuck. Alright, well, we'll save. I've been filled with determination. Ghost by force. It's Napsta Blue. Alright, well. Oh no. Oh no. Crying at me. It's easy, you do it with force. Uh, oops. Check what it says here. No sense of humor. It's rude. Oh no, I took damage. Now I guess we could see what happens if you do other things. Well, ghost. Don't operate on normal logic. Just generally speaking, ghosts are always able to interact with, uh, you know, physical objects whenever they feel like it. Alright. Alright, now we've got a different pattern of tears. Uh, you know what? It just. Oh, 
almost there. Teach that ghost not to uh, nap in front of me, I guess. Except you can't kill ghosts. Aww. Well, there's your answer. Lost one experience point. Great. Uh, what do we have here? Spider bake sale. All the proceeds go to real spiders. How about that? Uh, it says here I've got 18 gold. It says right there I've got 18 gold. Let's leave 7 gold on the web. That's spider donut. Oh no. I don't have 18 gold anymore. I can't leave anything there. Uh, let's take a look at the spider donut. Deal 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Mm. I already saw the spider bake sale. Eat food made by spiders, for spiders, and of spiders. Skip through words by pressing B. I wonder if it'll... Yeah. yeah, you press B and just like that, the full window will fill up. Uh, I've already explored that. There is not a frog-themed border. That is true. There you have it. If a monster has a yellow name, uh, you can spare it. Uh, I think that's helpful. Hey, Max. Uh, so this is... I'm pretending that I don't know that this is not a traditional RPG. So... You'll see. Alright, you can pick up items, too. Uh, what do we got here? There's just one switch. See cracked floors. Uh, I actually don't remember which is the one I want to take. Hey, that's a good one. Faded ribbon. A ribbon is equipped. Uh, I f still don't remember. It's Luke's. Uh, let's check on the Don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. I see what they did there. How did I take damage? I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna pick on him. That's tough, Luke's. And you're the one who got in my way, so, you know. It is what it is. Uh, Alright, so the switch I want to go to is right up here. There we go. I'll also... Hey, wait a second. It tasted like licorice. It 
It said it didn't taste like licorice. I want my money back. Uh, far door is not an exit. Simply marks rotation and perspective. All right, keep that in mind. You read this. Press the blue switch. Blue switch is behind the pillar. Get it? Yes, you can see what happens if we choose not to pick up books. That's fair, right? Don't pick on them, and finally someone gets it. And, uh, well, I already decided not to pick on them, so it's probably okay to spare them. Zero experience, but seven gold. What's this one say? Press the red switch. Okay. And green switch is in the middle, so... Easy every time. go over to this side first. I found a toy knife. Alright, well... Uh, attack 3, made of plastic. Rarity nowadays. Well then, let's uh, equip it. Look at that, we got... 2 attack, plus 3 from weapon, 3 defense. Tutorial. All right, what does she have for us? It's a good, tidy house in the ruins. Gives me determination. Butterscotch cinnamon pie. Doesn't that sound lovely? No snail pie either. Let's see what she's got for us. Dang. I just got here and I already have my own room? Well, let's take a peek. Check out the shelves, empty photo frame, and turn out the light, change the music to more of a music box type of thing. Box of kids shoes in a disparity of sizes. Can I check wardrobe here? No? Guess not. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. You've seen this type of plant before, but don't know its name. Oh, what do we have here? Subterranean plants? Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Oh, known more commonly as water sausages. There you have it. There you have this. The cactus. The most tsundere of all plants. Toriel's diary. Yeah, we'll read it. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Ah, that's a knee slapper.
Hmm, bigger than a twin-sized bed. How about that? Flower seeds and broken crayons. Oh. Room under renovations. Look, it's me. Ah, there's the water sausage. All right, well, that's enough poking around. Might as well take a nap. Even got a butterscotch pie slice. Restores all HP. Well, that, let's, uh, let's see where Toriel is. There she is, inside, enjoying a nice book by the fire. Old books. Hmm. Is it surprising that the lady who gave us all these tutorials, whose name is Toriel, wants to be a teacher? Of course it's not. But still. Uh... Oh. Uh, there's nothing. For now. I just want to take a poke in the kitchen here. Pie is too big to eat. She doesn't even use the stove, just fire magic. White fur stuck in the drain. Brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Anything fun in the books? A random page from history. Behind the barrier, fearful of human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth, we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Well, I believe Home is where we are right now. Seventy-two uses for snails. But you know, as nice as this place is, something tells me that we can't just stay here. It's almost as if the timing isn't quite right. I say that because I would like you, if it happens again, uh, if you can pay attention to this track, because there are moments where the timing of the notes seems off, just a little bit off. And I feel like that's, you know, very important to what's happening here. Uh, I'm going to lower the facade just a little bit uh, to say that Toby Fox, who, you know, created this game, uh, is also a music composer. So... He does... I think his affinity for music shows up in uh, the way it's presented here. I think it's going to happen right about now. Or at least somewhere in this passage, the notes are going to be just 
right there, right there. I mean, that part is fine, but, you know, there's still some moments. I'm gonna come out here and save. We're gonna go down the staircase, because it's the only place we haven't been to yet. The music has passed, but uh, hopefully you were able to pick up on what I was talking about. No, we're not going to go upstairs. Well, things have uh, taken a turn for the darker, I suppose. Someone or something named Asgore will kill me. But, uh... I've got to press on. Got to prove our strength. Alright, well, let's uh, see what Toriel's stats are. 80 attack, 80 defense, that's an awful lot. And, uh, oh no, she's got fire magic and an oven mitt. Uh, right, well, she told us to talk. To monsters to resolve conflicts, right? Well, talking didn't work. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, she's looking through me. That's gotta be kind of a withering stare. Now let's try talking again. Nothing different. Oh. One more time. Alright, talking is not the solution to this situation. Well, I can't talk her out of it, and I've got to prove my strength to her, then that means I gotta fight, right? But by changing weapons, the, uh, the bar now comes in from the right side. It just comes in from either side at random. I didn't mean to actually take that hit. Not dead yet, so so far so good. Also, for the record, uh, I mentioned already that I'm playing this on Switch version just because it's most convenient for me. Uh, I mean, heal. Let's take a uh, that means I'm also playing with a uh, uh, control stick. Instead of the D pad. Just because I can. But you can, of course, use the D pad since, uh, you know, this started, this was originally a PC game. That suddenly did way more damage. Alright, well, we 
proved our strength. So whatever we do, cannot let Asgore take our soul. Whatever his plan is, cannot succeed. That's important. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I guess there's nothing left for us here. Just gonna have to press onwards. Through this long and quiet hallway. Oh. Wowie. Can't go back and change fate. Oh, I don't like this flower one bit. You know what? Well, we said we couldn't go back and change fate, but I did save right before that battle with Toriel. What if I reload that save? That means I gotta open up the Switch Home menu. Hey, we've got a different title screen. We go to the settings. Changes just a little bit. Springtime, back to school. Well, not quite. Oh, what was what? The, uh, the dog with the flower on its head and the leaves falling down. Um, that happens after you start a game. Uh, you can go back into the menu and just get a little... A uh, little extra flavor based on what time of year it is. Uh, and the options still don't change all that much. I mean, you've just got remapping your buttons, uh, changing the language from English to Japanese, and uh, changing the border, which I'm not going to do. At least not right now. All right, uh, I probably could have, like, gone back and, like, saved afterward. Or saved after all this, but... Wait. Why are we looking at her? Hmm. 
That's weird. This didn't say that... She didn't say that last time. Hmm. Alright. Uh, so... I think it's safe to say we've concluded that uh, fighting was not the ideal way to go, right? Uh, and we already tried just talking to her, and the game flat out told us talking is not the answer. Uh, so what if we try to show her a little mercy? What if we try to spare her, even though her name isn't Yellow? This time she gets well, a little bit of dialogue problems before her attack. But, obviously that didn't work, so why don't we do it again? The box has changed a little bit. That's her sign that something is happening. We're just gonna keep doing that. Uh, we'll take some hits along the way, but it'll be fine. Uh, in fact, I might even want to try to take more hits, we'll see. I don't know, I'm taking so many hits. And what are we doing? We're, we're trying to spare you, so we don't, we don't want to fight. Uh, her attack patterns can be kind of hard. Uh, I've played this game enough that I basically got them down. I am taking a lot of these hits on purpose. She says attack or run away, but I'll just tell you right now. If I run away... Oh, for early in the game, yeah. Uh, that's fair. You can run away, but then if you do, the fight starts over, so... Uh, we're not gonna run away. We're gonna spare her some more. Are we proving? Uh... My health is awfully low. Fight me or leave. Now here's a little thing that happens when your health gets too low. Uh, her attacks... Uh, her attacks just actually start avoiding you. You cannot get hit by them. Now she can't handle us looking at her that way. All of her attacks are actively avoiding me. She's only doing this fire drop attack. It seems like I'm trying and it's staying away. Uh, yes, it is actually possible to get killed by her at low health. It takes... You have to do things specifically? Um, I never actually done it myself. Uh, but if your health is, like, just above the point, just above the threshold where uh, her attacks will avoid you, and I think it's the one where the fire, you know, like, drops down in that uh, kind of helix pattern a little bit, um, I think that attack can hit you multiple times, and if you let it hit, if you get hit by it multiple times, uh, it can, in theory, be enough to kill you. And that, uh, well, we're not going to be able to see that. I'm not going to try to go for that. That's too skilled for my blood. Because uh, if if it happens on like the the oven mitt attacks. Uh, Getting hit by that once will instantly end the attack. Uh, all right, it looks like uh, that stern, intense look on Toriel's face has softened a bit. Now the music has stopped. You can't even run away at this point, it's only spare.
got a bit of a sad smile on her face now. song is slower and sadder now. Oh, she's given us her blessing this time. So let's go forward again down the long and quiet hallway. There's Flowey again, that bastard. Didn't say that before. Oh dear. What did I do? Oh, well. No, it didn't happen, Flowey. I reloaded my save. Or wait. Hmm. By determination. Oh dear. This is different. <laughs> oh, Frost, you made it. You made it just to. <laughs> The end of the first section. At the title drop. Uh, do you know? I'm thinking here. This is me still being in character. I don't like the way that Flowey said I managed to spare the life of a single person. I mean, we could do that with all the other monsters, right? Right? So why don't we do that? That's what we're gonna do. That means I gotta reload the game again. Skip all that. Uh... Oh, hey, look. Toriel's on the title screen now. Uh, like I said, I'm... Let's, uh... Let's reset. Name has already been chosen. That's fine. We'll just go with that. This time we're going to be kind. Yeah. Howdy. It's Flowey. Flowey the flower. 
Wait a second. Thought we didn't say this the first time. He knows. Yeah, it's kind of what you missed uh, <laughs> before. Well, he knows. All right. Uh, we're gonna mash through this. Souls weak. Gain LV. LV stands for love, of course. Who doesn't want love? Chloe's gonna give us some love. Yeah, uh, yeah, that is something you can actually do. Uh, also, I have played Bravely Default and Bravely Second. Uh, but... Alright. Let's not get hit by the pellets this time. Oh, I missed them. Hmm. Well, it's... Yeah, last time... Oh, where the flower flies. <laughs> yes. Uh, bullets. Wait a sec. Oh. Changed things on me. So, this does play out very much the same. Uh, I'm just going to mash through this. Uh, and I'm going to save over the old file. Because that's got all my sins on there. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Puzzles, gotta solve them. Uh, uh, Delta Rune. Delta Rune is completely separate. Um, there are some, there's some overlap, but it's other than that, it's completely separate. Uh, the word from Toby Fox is that uh, Delta Rune actually. Uh, was created first, like he had the ideas for it first, uh, but it was such a big and daunting project for him that he wanted to make something uh, a little smaller first, and that's how Undertale came about. Like, he's even posted, like, screenshots of, like, some of the script that he'd written, uh, the script files for Delta Room, and, uh, yeah, the the timestamp on that file was, like, older than Undertale. Uh... Talk to the dummy. Uh... Toriel's happy. Good. A Delta Rune is fun too. Uh, the cool thing about part one is you know, it's free. It's literally free. Alright, let's give Froggit a compliment. Didn't understand, but was flattered anyway. skipping this part. The puzzle of the room was you know, for Frost benefit since uh, she wasn't here before. Uh, there's a sign on the wall that says the 
the room, the west room is the blueprint for the east room, uh, and there are like lighter parts that were formed a path. That's. Well, I guess I could just go it off and actually walk back through it. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. You go over to the west and you see, oh, here's the path. That's the path you can walk through where it's actually safe to walk uh, without spikes. But you, you can't even step on the actual spikes. Uh, but Toriel, serving as the tutorial, um, holds your hand through it. That's a bit of a... That's, that's the joke. But once again, she's leaving us to, uh, to figure this out on our own. Get to the end of the hallway without her help. And, uh, I do want to say that Frost, I think you're right. Um, I think this did popularize the idea of uh, playing around with the text itself. Uh, we already know Toriel is hiding behind the column here. You can talk to her if you want, but... Doesn't do anything. Uh, like, speaking of indie games that play around with text that I really like, uh, Celeste does that. Celeste is a very much a completely different type of game, but it also has a lot of fun uh, with uh, text boxes. Alright, not the cell phone. Say hello. That was nice. Uh, we'll go through this just because... Uh, you know what? Maybe we will call her mom this time. This time. She is trying to be awfully motherly. Wiggly text changing colors. Yeah. That happens. Tutorial seems to agree to that. Uh, oh, here is a fun thing that I'm not going to show off just because of the time it takes. Um, Knuckle Sandwich, I haven't heard of that. Uh, so you can actually wait here for like 15 minutes, I want to say. It might be shorter. If you stand around in this room long enough, Toriel does come back for you and takes you straight to... Straight to her home. Ah, I'll have to look into that after the stream. Right, this time, uh, this doesn't actually affect anything, but I am going to take, take a candy. Three candies, that's more than enough. Another save. Limson. Alright. Uh, let's check Limson. Too sensitive to fire. I know, I'm so terrible for uh, taking all that candy. Alright, well, Limson is so sensitive. Let's, let's try to console Limson. Halfway through your first word, Limson bursts into tears and runs away. Oh no. Or Wimson. Alright, for no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait. Um, is it cinnamon? Hmm. First time through, that's exactly what I told her. Somehow she had a feeling. She was seeing an old friend for the first time. Alright, this is still the same. 
And no, I would not turn my nose up at butterscotch. Still. Alright, Wemson is back. Uh... Let's, let's try terrorizing Wemson. Oh no! I gave Wimson the spooky fingers. Wimson's attacks are not very threatening. Wimson is hyperventilating. Uh. That time we actually got gold out of it. Uh, allergies. Hmm. Did she ask that last time? I actually don't remember. I legitimate, legitimately forgot. Alright. Uh, so remember... Oh, not too far. That one's on me. Froggit. Alright. Let's give Froggit another compliment. Frogget is blushing. Reluctant to fight? Well then, let's show a little mercy. Two gold. Hey, what do you know? Mission accomplished. Undertale is really fun to play. There's a lot to it. Uh, Froggit and Wimson drew near. Alright, uh... Alright, spared them both. I do have to do all this. Uh... You can see here that one switch is the only one that actually matters, like I said. There's the cheese on the table again. Knowing that the, che the mouse may one day come out of its hole and get the cheese fills you with the determination. We do still have to move the ghost with force. A little naps to Bluke, but this time let's be friendly. Alright, let's... They've got kind of wobbly eyes going on. So why don't we try to cheer them up? Patient smile. Oh no, attacking with tears. Looks a little bit better. Well, then let's keep going. With a little joke. Still not feeling it up to it right now. We'll figure. Alright, well, let's uh, spread some more cheer. Wants to show me something. Dapper Bluke gave himself a little hat. A response? You know what? Let's do a little flirt. Oh no. I don't even have enough money to buy a spider donut this time, so oh well. Uh, yeah. Orders, already know that. Alright, 
So this is a, a, a question that I've got to, that I'm going to pose to the chat. Uh, what would you like better? That bright yellow that tells us that uh, an enemy is someone we can spare, or would you prefer more of a softer pink? I don't think I care enough either way. Alright, pink. We'll do that. Alright, so what do we think of being told that an enemy is, uh, can be spared? Yellow name tags? It's bad. Never use yellow names. No more. But, uh, talk to you again. How are you doing without yellow names? Let's, uh, let's... You know, the yellow names thing really is handy. Let's, uh, let's bring them back. Uh, yeah, I know. I apologize, Froggit. Oh no, they threw out their yellow names. Everyone still has their pink names in their closets. Yeah, that's all there is to it. You can think of them as Kirby colors. How is that? That makes things more fun, right? Uh, Tori was talking about uh, picking items up. Alright, so from what I remember last time, here... Faded Ribbon. Faded Ribbon is armor. Can I equip the armor? Hey, there's Nafta Blue. Uh, Vegetoid came out of the earth. Alright. Uh, we didn't encounter Vegetoid last time. But I'm still not gonna pretend I don't know what to do. Uh, let's check it out. Serving size, one monster, not monitored by the USDA. Throws a bunch of bouncing veggies at me. Uh, you can talk to it, but it's... It's a, it's a plant. Plants can't talk. You dummy. Uh, devour is an option if you fight it, but don't kill it, and then you can just eat it. So I'm just telling you what that is, because I don't feel like going through it. Let's, uh, what about dinner? Healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh, I messed that up a little bit. If you say dinner, it tells you eat your greens. Well, green bullets will heal you instead of hurt you. Uh, his name is Pink, though, so we can spare. Good job. Go team. time Napsta Blue is here. I actually don't remember if they were here before. Because uh, I wasn't paying attention. So let's flip the switch. Make forward progress through the room. Uh, change in perspectives. I already forgot what order I have to press them in. Ooh, okay. I think it's blue red than green. Alright. Uh, we've got uh, Nigosp here. Does not want to talk. Right, well, let's just do the dinner thing. We'll go one at a time, right? Bed, spare the vegetoid. When you spare, then uh, 
all the only the enemies that you can spare. So, please. And here's the trick with uh, Midgasp here: is once you get rid of all the other enemies around it, uh, then it's happy. And it just does a little dance. And no more attacks. And you can spare it. Red switch. Vaciously attractive, but no brains. Stereotypical. Uh, <laughs> sexy wiggle. Alright, uh, let's imitate the slime. Alright, we can spare the slime now. There we go. Three gold. Hooray. Uh, and then green's the last colors. A pair of Luke's decided to pick on me. Oh, don't pick on me. Also, don't pick on me. And just like that, they're, they can both be spared. You could think of it as like a strategic trade off, I suppose. Uh, hey, Froggit, what do you got to say? Toriel came out of here just a little while ago. Out of this room with a small toy knife? She left that for me? I'm not gonna use it, but you know, better safe than sorry, right? fills me with the determination. There's the pie again. No snail pie. Show us to our room. Let's take a little nap. There's the pie. Just as before, butterscotch and cinnamon. One slice fully restores your HP. I am going to read about Typha, the water sausage. One more time, just because. I feel like that comes up later. There's Toriel's diary again. Skeleton wanted a friend because she was feeling bonely. Good job, Toriel. Scandalous. Sock drawer. And once more, for good measure. It's me. Someone here, old books, uh, education, bug hunting spot. Oriel wants to be a teacher. Surprise, not actually a surprise. Been through this before. When can we go home? 
Uh, no, let's, uh, try to exit the ruins. You know that snails make terrible shoelaces. Uh, you know what? I hadn't considered that. Come on, Toriel. Trying to... Trying to leave here, trying to progress the game. Can I check this one? How about over here? An old calendar from the beginning of 2016. it to the rest of the underground. She's gonna smash it up. I might have glossed over that the first time through. Again and again, they come, they leave, they die. Final warning. Yeah, I get it. You want to leave? Yes. And she's doing the thing again. Why are we looking at her like that? Like we've seen a ghost. Hmm. It's just less dramatic this time because this is the first time she said that. Don't worry about it. All right. Well, here we go. Can't talk her out of it. I don't want to fight her. So we'll just keep on sparing her. Show her that we don't want to fight, but we're not going to run away. There's that ugly mid attack. Says attack will run away, but uh, again, I'm not gonna do that. Why should I? She is giving you the uh, disapproving look, the withering stare. Nice try. I know how to stream your bullet tutorial. But uh, it turns out she cannot. She cannot take it nearly as long as she thought she could. Uh, you will note that it's doing less damage now for attacks. They were doing three points per hit. Those that last time I took two hits. For one HP each. The sheer strength of my determination is causing her to falter. But again, at this point, we cannot run away. to uh, frost I'm gonna tell you this that is actually a thing I could do it I, well I don't know if the conditions are right um, we'll see 
perhaps in the future. says don't come back. And with a hug goodbye, she walks away. Uh, I think I mean, you could walk back if you want, but she's not even in the home. I can't remember if she's even anywhere. Let's try calling her. And nobody picked up. Puzzle help. Nobody picked up. Well, nothing to it but to move forward. Yet again, down the long and silent hallway. There's Flowey again. Ah. There it is. I was hoping something like that would happen. This time he acknowledged that we didn't kill anyone this time. He's the prince of the world's future. <laughs> so if we do encounter a relentless killer, what will we do? Will we keep trying? Will we kill them because we just can't find another way? Will we just abandon the game completely and let Flowey take over? Hmm. So we'll just have to keep watching to find out. So I've gotten here three times now. Uh, I will say, though, I'm a little disappointed because there was something about what uh, Flowey... Well, I was hoping to see Flowey say uh, that was in the demo, but the demo had to be, ch uh, well, obviously, the demo for Undertale was changed. Because uh, the demo takes place entirely up to this point. Uh, and there were some things that Toby Fox wanted to do that ended up not working out because uh, uh, the engine he was using to make this game uh, got an update and as things go with updates uh, it broke some of the features that he wanted uh, so what I was hoping to see Flowey say was oh cool you figured out how to spare Toriel but what about Whimson and Froggit Mold Small they all had names or they all had friends and families they're all missing loved ones now and then that's you know supposed to encourage you to go back well not encourage encourage but you know, go back and try again anyway let's move forward got this snowy forest how is there a forest underground? I don't know. How is there snow underground? Don't worry about it. I don't know. Branch snapped, and it wasn't me. How could this be? Hmm. 
Wait a second. One walk between the sh trees. I'm hearing a background hum. talking they don't have a voice no this is creepy but we gotta do it <laughs> oh fantastic Yeah, he's here. The biggest meme out of all of Undertale. It's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. Whose text, as you can see, is written in uh, Comic Sans. Hence the name. Got a brother named Papyrus. Ah, uh, yes, the conveniently shaped lamp with almost the exact same sprite outline. Except you can see, like, the little pole chain to turn it on. But just, uh... Whoop. There's the other one. It's Papyrus, whose text is in Papyrus. These two are just a wonderful duo of characters. Fantastic. I love them both. Take a look at this lamp, this really cool lamp. Iris wants so badly to catch a human. Wants respect and recognition and to join the Royal Guard. Maybe be his friend? Right, exactly. And this is... Bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Iris, that's gross. But yeah, the memes, I feel like... kind of said this on Twitter. Um... Maybe I said this at the beginning of the stream? Uh, I feel like the memes do like, take out a lot of the context of what makes these characters so great, and then, you know, the memes get everywhere, and then they get kind of exhausting to see them all the time. Uh, that's why... yeah, right. That's how it goes with memes. And, I feel like when that happens, then it's easy to forget that, you know, there really is something uh, wonderful at the core here. Uh, that's what this whole playthrough is going to be about. It's going to be about trying to shine a light back on the core and try to remove the effects of memes <laughs> that memes have had on, uh, you know, the perception of this game. Well, Sans has done a skeleton of work. Thank you. Thank you, Sans. Uh, and good old Papyrus' classic thanks, I hate it. Alright. Well, not 
game theory. I haven't even actually watched a single game theory episode about it, but I know all the memes about that. Uh, we're going to. Oh, working down to the bone. Oh, even Papyrus is getting in on the jokes. Not bad. You had to get the last laugh. Oh no, that's a serious threat. We can't sit through more Papyr uh, more of Sansa's jokes. Uh, checkpoints or Sentry Station. Bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish? Hmm. Weird. Right. Sans wants a favor. Well, Pyrus isn't actually a threat. Wait a second. He just said he'd be up ahead, and then he walked backwards. Weird. Well, the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. We're at Box Roads. That's a save point. Um, hmm. Uh, if... Let's see, I don't know if I want to end the stream here. This isn't a very long game. Um, let me think. Uh, we'll go through one more section. Uh, this will be a bit of a longer stream than I might have planned originally, but... Snowdrake? Let's find out about Snowdrake. A uh, teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Oh. Told a bad joke. Ice to meet you. I'm assessing the crowd. Whoa. Uh, that was a bad joke. Oh, I'm gonna heckle him. Oh, that's not heckling. Wow, I... Hmm, I don't like that. Feel terrible about that one. Did not think that, that would happen, to be honest. Uh, let's find out about a box. Put an item inside or take an item out. Same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Yeah, that was really harsh. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, th that is the perfect emote for this frost. Thank you. Uh, let's use the tough glove. Uh, actually, wait a second. I want a description of the tough glove. A worn pink leather glove for five-fingered folk. Hey, that's me. Uh, use the box. I don't think I'm, I'm gonna need this toy knife anymore. Fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached is... To the end is a photo of a weird-looking monster. Call me, here's my number. And decide not to call. Speaking of call, can we call Toriel? Nope. Hey, there they are. Oh, getting some double takes. Is that a human? It's a rock. Oh, but what's that in front of the rock? Oh, 
Iris finally did it. Finally found a human. It's gonna be popular. Now he's gonna stop me and then capture me and then deliver me to the capital? It's a whole lot of things. did Sans get here if he walked the other way that first time? Ice Cap, huh? Let's check out Ice Cap. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Okay. It's Hat Residue. Ew. Alright. Uh, let's compliment. Ice cap on his hat. His hat is too loud for me, for us, or for him to hear us. Oh well. I tried. Uh. New clothes spell. Alright, well, what, what if we ignore Ice Cap's hat? Looks annoyed. Oh no, it's. I believe so strongly in the fashion. the fashionable appeal. It's hat. Let's ignore it some more. Continue not looking. Oh no! Defeated. Desperate for attention, but, uh. You no. Know, that is a nice hat. What if we try to steal the hat? And it works! Oh, we don't get to keep Ice Cap's hat. But, uh, now Ice Cap is no more. Now Ice Cap is just ice. Got 35 gold out of it, though. That's an awful lot. <laughs> Narration on this cardboard box. The very famous uh, royal guardsman is not yet famous. All right, no moving. Now, if you look closely, oh well. Did something move? All right. Oh, uh, we got interrupted here. Doggo blocks the way. Uh, doggo is also, is not just a funny way to refer to a dog, it also means, uh, oh, what is it, like hidden or something? Ah, uh, it's an adverb, remain motionless and quiet to escape detection. Alright, we're not gonna fight Doggo. I'm gonna check Doggo. Actually, yeah, let's pet the dog. Oh no, Doggo's too suspicious of my movements. Don't move an inch. Alright. Hey, I didn't move. And it worked. Alright, um... Okay, so let's check Doggo. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Will it move this time? The game told me not to move. Well, let's try petting it again. It's been pet. Look at him go. Even says one one. Might be hard to see because it keeps flipping back and forth, but that is the word coming out of his mouth uh, when he's facing uh, to the left. It's mirrored on the right. All right well. Good job, team. Something that isn't moving, headed in. Anyway, you can see a 
poster inside the station here also says Juan. Bark bark. Doggo cannot see you if you do not move. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Hey, Sands. All right, here's the explanation. It's got a very special attack. You see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. So here's an easy way to keep it in mind, right? Imagine a stop sign. You see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so just imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. There's more the playing with colors as a joke. It's a really good joke, and, and I love it a lot. Stop signs are red. Put the blue. Think of a blue stop sign, and then put the text in yellow. Uh, north is ice. South is ice. West is ice. East is Snowden Town and ice. All right, well, let's go north. It's a snowman who wants to see the world. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take the snowman piece. Even sitting in our inventory now. Snowman piece. What does it do? It heals 45 HP. Take this to the ends of the earth. You got it. being threatened with more puzzles. It's an invisible electricity maze. Now getting zapped with electricity is... sounds pretty dire. But, uh... That's where the human has to hold the orb for the maze to work right. Hold it just like that. Hmm. I wonder what the safe path through is. Maybe it's... This? Sans has the next puzzle drawn up. A weird outfit. Oh no. His battle body. He's been wearing it for weeks. Uh, yeah, sure, that's cool, Sans. Yeah, this guy who's selling cold treats and only selling ice cream. A frozen treat that warms your heart. Uh, yeah, we'll buy one. Let's check this out. He was 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. You know what? My health isn't filled up. Why don't I use it? An illustration of a hug. Aww. Let's give one more. Uh, hey, there's a snowball. We can kick the snowball around. There's sands too. 
want some fried snow? Sure, for 5G? Why not? Oh, he meant 50? Well, fried snow does sound interesting. Sure, 550G is fine. 5,000G? Fifty thousand. This isn't going right. Oh, Sans, you, you jokester. Trying to sell fried snow he doesn't even have. I did it. I got the ball in the hole. Played mini golf. Our reward is blue. Uh, there are different ways to do it. I'm not going to go into all. It looks like a snowball, but it's a snow decahedron. Uh, jokes. I get jokes. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Smell danger rating. Uh, snow smell smells like snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Hope you're taking notes. Unsuspicious smell is puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. There's more jokes. Green is in red. Destroy at all costs. Is... And hers. Hmm. Oh no, it's puzzle time again. Alright, let's see what this is about. Uh... It's the Monster Kids Word Search featuring Ice E. Oh, boy, oh boy. Uh, this is, technically speaking, not solvable. You cannot solve the word search perfectly. Some things are there. But, uh... That really long one there. I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce it. Uh, you might think that's the top row, but uh, after that second F, it's supposed to be an E, and in the actual word search, it's a U. Got tricked. Take that. But that's all there is to it. It's just around. Crossword? No, that would have... That would have held me up for... 10 minutes. Papyrus thinks Junior Jumble is harder. Alright, which is harder? The Junior Jumble or the Daily Crossword? What is your opinion? My opinion is that we... That we go along with Papyrus. Yeah, let's just say that the Junior Jumble is harder. Humans must be very intelligent if they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Is that how it works, Papyrus? <laughs> yeah, well, Crossword is definitely harder than Junior Jumble. But, uh, uh, I just wanted, I really just wanted the line about Papyrus trying to solve the horoscope. Uh, 
Please enjoy this spaghetti. Spaghetti is a trap. Oh no. Oh no, what a jape. Alright. A plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold it's stuck to the table. Well, there's a microwave right here. It's not plugged in. And all of the settings say spaghetti. There's a mouse hole. It squeaks. Knowing that the mouse may one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Cool. Warning, dog marriage. Oh. Lesser dog. Oh boy, what should I do to lesser dog? Find out. Builds a stone dogger made of palmer granite. Pet the dog. Dog got excited. We could leave it there. Let's pet the dog. It's already overexcited. Alright, I'll tell you right now. All of these five pet options are the exact same. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Raises its head up to meet my hand. But it's some more. It is a good dog. I looked away, and then suddenly the attack. Uh, overstimulated. Let's keep going. Critical pet. It doesn't even attack anymore, but you have to jump up to pet the dog. We got its motor revving. Can't even pet it anymore. There's no way to stop this madness. Lesser Dog enters the realm of the clouds. Dog cannot hear me. Far away bark. Oh. There it is! Look at its tail wagon behind the shield. Keep going. I don't remember how far this can go, but I'm going to take it as far as I can. Oops. Its face is interfering with the text box. I might have a problem. Yet, I'm not stopping. It is funny that its head kind of disappears with the text box. There's no outline, so when it overlaps, you can't distinguish them. I think you can get its face all the way off screen again, and I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm 
Mustard Dog is unpettable but appreciates the attempt. Say whining because it can't see you. Oh. Oh. Uh, has this gone on long enough? Or should I keep committing to the bit? Is it lowered the last time I tried? Or at least that one time. I'll give it a three more pets. Three more. Yeah, there it is. Hello. <laughs> the boy is here. Continues. <laughs> there he goes. All right. We're... I th think if I get dog off screen, lesser dog has gone where no dog has gone before. Beyond reach. Um, <laughs> I, I'm curious. I want to see if it loops back up again, because I legitimately do not know. Really. Just a few more... Ears poking out anywhere. Yeah, we'll just say that that's done. The joke has gone on quite long enough. All right, back to normal. Uh, what do we got here? We got snow. Uh, looks like a map of this area. Alright, between three somethings, there's an X. Three rocks, perhaps. Three trees, perhaps. Press the switch. We did get warned about dog marriage. Identify your smell. Right. The dog I have assaulted me. Right. So we've got dogamy and dogaressa. Again, real words. Uh, I'm going to look them up right now because I don't remember them off the top of my head. God. I think dog me is just supposed to mean... Endogamy comes from endogamy, uh, the practice of marrying within a specific ethnic group, class, or social group. Imagine that. Then dogaressa, let's look up that. I swear that means something as well. Excuse me, it's, uh... Mm -hmm. Dogaressa is fine. The official title of the spouse of... The Doge of Venice. 
D O G E. That's actually a word. How about that? Didn't know that. Dogamy. Now let's check Dogamy. Husband of Dogaressa. Knows only what he smells. Alright, so we've got big ol' axes. That's not. Oh, got hit by axe. Oh no, they're that kind of couple. Alright. Dogaressa. This is here. This puppy finds her hubby lovely. Smells only? Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. I see what's going on there. Right, that's how you do it. And their axes make a, a heart after the last hit. Or the last motion. Um, uh, so they did say... The smell of rolling around, according to that sign, is the smell of a puppy. Smell like a weird puppy now. Let's let them re-sniff me now that I smell like a weird puppy again. Or, for the first time, they're smelling me again. Hmm. Well, let's give them a pet now. Dogs think I might be a lost puppy. Puppy. Our Dogeressa? Dogeressa? Pet you too. A dog that pets dogs. Amazing. The minds have been expanded. They've gone galaxy brain. Because dogs can pet other dogs. We did it. Turn every X into an O, and then press the switch. How did I avoid the trap? Ah, the spaghetti trap. Well... Unfortunately... We were not able to eat the spaghetti. Remember, it was frozen and stuck to the table. Uh, so... Honesty is the best policy. We left it. Wow. We resisted the flavor of his home-cooked pasta just to share it with him. Oh, boy. That's how you turn the X's into O's. You just step on them. Mm, a sock collection. Oh, that's interesting, Papyrus. Uh, let's see. Made the puzzle look more like his face. Don't know. The solution is different. All right. So here's the puzzle. You just gotta draw a path through here. Without uh, stepping on anything twice. Which means, how do I want to do this? I mean, it's not. I should want to say it's not that hard. But you can't step on anything too many times. Um. Why don't I remember this?
Why don't I remember this? Um, go around like that, and I'm already regretting it. This is not the right answer. Because now I'm stuck and I can't turn further. Reset. I legitimately don't remember. tell you this because uh, we're not going to be replaying this section. You can talk to Papyrus and he gives you a hint and then he tells you, oh, check the tree. There's a switch. That instantly solves the puzzle. Anyway, here's Papyrus who couldn't be found. Sans is just completely lazy. All right, here we go. All right, here's a real humdinger of a puzzle made by the great Dr. Alphys, he says. Right, I'm gonna change color. Each color has a different function. All right, so pay attention. Red tiles, impassable, cannot walk on red. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. The following so far? Purple tiles are slippery. You'll slide to the next tile. Slippery soap smells like lemons, which the piranhas don't like. So purple and blue are okay. And finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. Alright, did you get that? Did you get all of that? Uh, of course I got all of that. But let's just pretend I didn't quite catch that. Alright, so red tiles are impassable. Yellow tiles are electric and dangerous. Blue tiles make you fight a monster. Wait. Green tiles are water tiles. Wait. Orange tiles are orange scented. Step on orange, don't step on green. Brown tiles are... Wait, there are no brown tiles. Purple tiles smell like lemon. Why don't the yellow ones smell like lemon? I did mix up green and blue. The blue ones are water ones. Pink tiles... You already forgot. Except they don't do anything. Okay, that... That explanation was even worse. But let's just pretend I got it. I did get it. One last thing. It's entirely random, this puzzle. Never been seen. No one's gonna know the solution in advance. Scramble. Here it is. <laughs> That's the puzzle. All that build up for this. Oh, he's been get better at making spaghetti. 
Might even make something edible next year. And there he goes. Just spins off. Oh no. Snow dog statue or sculptures. On the floor inside is a box of palmer raisins. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog fills you with determination. Oh no! It's the lesser dog. Just could not make snow dog like itself all right uh, that's another puzzle here we've got snow papyrus and a lump of snow with sands written on it they made snow skeletons of themselves all right let's solve this puzzle this one's easy just do kind of a swirl There you have it. Puzzle solved, right? Slide on through and uh, a little snow dog. Hey, Sands. Hey, Sands. Oh, wait. Oh, you gift rock. Gift rock. Some teens decorated it as a prank? Oh no. Oh no. Well, let's undecorate that then. Remove the small confused dog. It's a little better. Alright. Let's undecorate it further. Carved wire made a pipe cleaner. Alright, I can do it. There we go. And finally, we remove the lenticular bookmark of a smug team winking. Alright. He helped gift rot. Gift rot? Alright. Sans, what are you doing? Mysterious. Anyway, let's just pop in here. That's a door. And talk to the mushrooms to turn them on and off. But that's all there is to it. Hey look, a little house in the distance. I think if you stand here long enough, you can see someone come out of the house. Walk around, maybe get some firewood or something. I don't know. We're not going to see that. I've decided. Ah, it's a snow path. And this is a snow path. This, however, is a snow path. Surprisingly, it's a snow path. Snow path. Is it really a snow path? Behold! Snow path. Huh? There's 30G inside this. What is this? It's a snow path. They're all going to say it. It's just going to loop through. It's so uh, kind. Uh, sign says, woof, what a tiny doghouse. Hmm, ah, a little doggy.
Well, if you do want to play it yourself, uh, I implore you to have fun with it and know as little as possible. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's up to you. Thank you for watching so far. Either way, uh, Greater Dog. Greater Dog, what do you say? So excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Oh no. Everything on this on this dog is greater dog. Alright, well, let's beckon the dog closer. Excited dog. Dog wants affection. I'll just pet the dog. If you move during this attack, then the dog wakes up and jumps at you, and it hurts, so... Alright, dog wants to play. Raider dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it back. What does it say? The TLC? Well, that sounds like a pet. That capacity is 40%. Well, we'll just have to keep doing it. Some decisive petting. A, a, a shortcut for this uh, fight. If you feel so inclined, I don't know if it'll work. Yeah, you can throw the stick that you start with. You can just throw it and play fetch. And then that will also make the dog happy. Yeah, right? Let us spare the greater dog. That's enough. But don't worry, Greater Dog is actually not that big. So long, friend. Oh boy, here we go. The deadly gauntlet of terror, including dog hanging from a rope. He's gonna do it. Come on, Papyrus, you gonna do it? Ah, that's the problem. It's unfair. It's classless. Well, you did it, Papyrus. Congratulations. All right, make sure you understand blue attacks. Oh, welcome to Snowden. Uh, hmm. And there's a save point here. I think I could go all the way to the 
quote-unquote end of this. I think that's fine. Let's pop in at the shop. All right, uh, well, my inventory is maxed out at eight out of eight items, so why don't I try selling something? Can't sell anything. This is not a pawn shop. You get it? Lampshading the old, uh, the thing where shops just buy whatever junk you have on hand. I've already got a tough glove. If I could, I would get the manly bandana. And a bicycle. Or a cinnamon bun. Uh, well, let's at least say hello. Where did we come from? question that will go unanswered. Grillby's library, take a nap at the inn, run by her sister, and the skeletons. Alright, well let's talk about town history. Alright, monsters lived in the ruins, left the ruins, and some of them stayed behind in this place called Snowden, uh, but can't go back to the ruins. Freedom is coming, huh? Hmm. All right. Well, there's the box here. Okay, so... We'll store the candy. I guess. Now I'm gonna buy that manly bandana. that ribbon anymore. Pop into the inn. Why not? Snowed Inn, the premier hotel. ADG is kind of expensive, but uh, oh dear. Got some uh, noisy neighbors. Some kind of song that they're doing. <laughs> oh, well, I had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. And money's refunded. As you can see, money has not actually decreased. But look at that. Uh, we got overhealed. This is uh, something that I actually kind of forgot about. If you stay at the inn, you get healed past your maximum. That wasn't so bad. Don't want to walk to the other side of the town? Try the under snow tunnel. Sufficiently laid out. Let's not do that. That lady over there, something about her disturbs. It's a little bunny named Cinnamon, being walked by a larger bunny. Same bun bun over and over. Ah, 
there's another way to deal with gift rot if you feel like it. You can give it presents. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Hmm. What a coincidence. Ah, it's a monster kid. Only kids wear striped shirts. Alright. No mayor, it's Snowden. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Anything else? Politics. Let's check out Grilby's. Hey, it's the dogs. No respect. No. Or watch where you sit down in here. That big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Uh, Doggo wants to go on a walk. It's a lesser dog. It's playing poker against itself. And it appears to be losing. Poor lesser dog. Greater dog, what do you have to say? Inspiring. No guard. Someone named Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. Talk to the bartender. Rilbs. Said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. I get it. Uh, broken jukebox. Fine. New drinks and the hot guys. Wow, human food does sound disgusting when you describe it like that. Wants to try it sometime. funny. Um, what do we got here? That one says, cheer up, because why not? Monsters and humans? I heard a splashing sound. Guys, just uh, just chucking ice into the water. Can't talk to him. Just we'll just leave him be. And we'll stop in at the local library. I already know the sign is misspelled. Yeah, that looks like a Luke's. Uh, working on the newspaper. Ah, uh, they just fill it with comics and games. That's the kind of newspaper I want to read. books. Monster funerals. They're cool as heck. Monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. Hmm. 
funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Am I at the page minimum yet? I'm sick of writing this. Monsters are mostly made of magic. Got it. Humans are far stronger because they have physical forms. They cannot express themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. Hmm. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. If you strike with a desire to kill, let's not worry about it. History part four. Uh, moved out of our old city, home, which, remember, was named by the king. Who kind of sucks with the names? Uh, harsh cold, damp spawn plan, searing heat. What we now call our capital, New Home. Again, the king is bad at names. Uh, people say monster souls are made of love, hope, and compassion. But the nature of soul is unknown. Ooh, harsh, you're getting deep here. Humans don't need... Mailbox filled with junk mail. That one says papyrus. Let's not look inside. Because that's illegal. Box door. Locked from the inside. There's that snow. Oh, there's an ice cube floating down the river. Uh, this is the other end of the snow tunnel to save yourself a little time. Oh no. Mist is coming in. I can't see anything. Uh oh, got some complex feelings. Cool, smart person, think you were cool. Did we give Papyrus these feelings? No. Of course not. Obviously, we're the ones who feel that way about Papyrus. Who never has to wonder what having lots of friends is like. and prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Alright, here we are. Papyrus is blocked the way. Let's check Papyrus. Attack and defense of 20. Likes to say nye he he. Hey, there he goes. And uh, here's his attack. Uh, that happened. Let's try sparing him. He won't fight, and let's see if he can handle... Ah, the blue attack! Here we go! Uh, yep. Remember, just don't move.
Wait a second. We're blue now, that's the attack. Now the fight really begins. Alright. Alright, so the way this works is, uh, well, your soul automatically sticks to the bottom. You've got gravity now. Right, I can't tell what that is. But I'm sure, it's a good one. Uh, I'll just insult the pirates. He's too busy fighting to accept my insults. Oh no. We have to press up to jump. You can jump fairly high. That is how you dodge the attacks. Now is it? I see that the emote showed up on the stream. It just didn't show up in my chat specifically, because probably because it's filtered through Streamlabs. Anyway, uh, what is flirt? Too busy fighting to flirt back. Oh no, not a special attack. Nice try, game. If I mess something up here, I'm going to be a little disappointed. That's something I'm going to investigate afterwards. A little trip in the head in the shape of a smile. His winning smile? the button too fast. I, I apologize. Oh. Let myself get distracted. Won't let me go. That sounds bad. I just give up. He's threatening me with a special attack. Well, very soon he's going to use his special attack. Too long. Uh, 
uh, prepares a non bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. Alright, here's the special attack. Oh no! Dog! Dog took the bone. There goes the special attack. Right, it's time for the really cool regular attack instead. He's disappointed by it. I don't know. I might actually lose here, and that's unintentional, but it will show off something that happens. Oh, cool. Cool dude. Oh, no. This was, in fact, unintentional. I did not mean to lose there. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. That's a note from Papyrus. Yeah, fully yours. All right, it's too small to sleep on. The food is dry. It's a squeaky chew toy. There we are. Uh, I, like I said, I legitimately did not mean to actually do that. Uh, but that's what happens if you if you lose. You don't actually lose. It doesn't it's not a game over. You might notice that my HP did not actually hit zero. We're gonna have to challenge Papyrus again. This time I'm going to take better care and use my uh, items and such. We're instantly blue. Right. So we just uh, take it from the top, I guess. So I'm making use special attack. Yeah. Nope. It's fine. I'll be fine. We'll just call this extra content for the stream, I guess. Uh, oh. I'm scratching my nose. Unparalleled papyrus. And butts pie. I see what they did there. Extra content to end, that's the one. Safe and sound. It smells like bones. Right, let's uh, eat that nice cream. It says I'm spiffy. What I did, though, that I'm a little disappointed about. Uh, this is just extra flavor text. Uh, but if you try to insult or flirt with Papyrus before you try to spare him, uh, all this flavor text here about preparing a bone attack or whatever, uh, it's uh, completely different. 
was hoping I'd get to show that off, but uh, looks like I didn't. Uh, that was fine, apparently. Captured and sent away, they won't let me go, blah blah blah. Played that perfectly. It's weird, the bandage is armor at the start with, but it's not, it doesn't have any defensive capabilities, uh, but once you unequip it, you can use it as an item, and it has a chance of letting you reuse it, when it's still kind of gooey. joke again. And this time I should be able to handle the really cool regular attack. Probably shouldn't have moved from the middle, to be honest. You can even see the full length of the attack. Like this. Get uh, your maximum ups. And there's the final attack. Wow, oh, he's going to spare me. Except his mercy. Now can I... There we have it. That is one way to beat Papyrus. Oh no, his friend quantity shall be stagnant. What can, what can we say? Should we tell him let's be friends? Or should we say what a loser? I mean, obviously, the nice thing would be to say, uh, let's be friends. But what if I told you it doesn't actually matter? We'll go with the joke, then. Why would you berate yourself so loudly, says Papyrus. He wants to be friends. Wants to be friend. Yeah. Wants to be friends. Probably tripled over my own words there. The path to friendship is to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. Alright. Directions to the surface. Continue forward. Reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's it. So 
there you have it. It's a semi-permeable barrier. Uh, it takes a powerful soul to get through, like, say, a human. And we gotta go through the king's castle. This is important. He is... Big fuzzy pushover. Because everyone loves that guy. Mr. Dreamer. And there he goes again. So we could go back and be friends with him, but I kind of want to hit this next save point, which is like the next screen over. Here it is, see? Alright, uh... So now I've got a bit of a dilemma. And I'll leave it to you, the lovely viewers decide. Should we go back and hang out with Papyrus now, or should I save that for next time? Either way, it's going to happen. There's no doubt about it. second thought it's been uh three hours already so we'll just save that for next time <laughs>